Hello everyone and welcome to your channel TechCoin. In this video, we will see the solution for this lab. Start your lab. Now log into your cloud console. Go back to the lab and scroll down. Now we have to open this link, then click on this sign in, now choose your account, click allow, now you can simply cross this, go back to the lab. And from the task 1, open this link in the browser. Now click on this copy app. Then for the app name, we have to use this name. So copy it. Click copy app. This will take few seconds. Now our app is ready, close this, go back to your lab and check the progress for first task. Now move on, again open this link in your browser. Click on get started, now close this and from the lab copy this name. Now click on this create and find a space. Then click create a space. For the space name, paste the copy text. And now click on this create. Now copy this name. And click on this arrow. Then go to app and integrations. Then click on this manage webhooks. For the name, paste your copy text, then click on this save. Now copy this URL and save it somewhere. Now you can close this. Go back to your lab. Now scroll down. Now go to the inventory manager. Then click on this button. You can open and close this left panel using this button. Now go to this automation, then move to task, then click on this new task, then select this option call a webhook. For the task name, go back to the lab and copy this name. Now scroll down for the URL, copy this URL which you have saved earlier and simply paste it. Then for this verb, select the post. Then for the body, go back to the lab and copy this thing. Then click on this save. Now go to this processes. Click new process. Then for the process name. Copy this name and paste it. For the table, select products. Now click on this add a step. Now you have to zoom out a bit and you will be able to see this option create a custom step. And now we have to provide a name for this step. So copy this name. and paste it and from this section select this option then click on this save now move to this event section click new event then for the event name we will use this name
then select this option updates only for the table it should be products now click on this box and go back to the lab now copy this and simply paste it then click on this save and again click on this save now go to this bot section create new bot now choose this option create custom bot if you are not able to see this option just zoom out a bit click on this and for the bot name we will use this name now click on this configure event select this event name click on this arrow and now select this option and now click on this save now click on this mobile then sync everything now go back to the lab and copy this thing now search it and make sure you are in the products table now click on this edit now we have to decrease the price now click the next then click save and again click on this sync option now go back to the lab and check your progress for this task now scroll down copy this task name go to this automation then click on this task again create a new task select this option for the task name paste your copy text for the table name you have to select the shipping and for the url again use the same url which you have saved earlier simply paste it then for the verb select post and for the body copy this thing paste it then click on this save now we are just repeating the similar process which we have followed for the products again go back to the lab now we will create new process copy this process name go to this process section new process paste the process name and from the table you have to select shipping then add the step now again zoom out then click on this create custom step and for the step name copy this thing for custom task select this option now simply click on this save again go back to the lab and now we have to create new event so copy this event name go to this events then create new event now paste your event name now let me zoom in a bit then click on this delete only and for the table you have to select shipping now click on this save now we will create bot so move to this section create custom bot and for the bot name we will use this name click configure event now select this option now click on this arrow now save your bot now again click on this mobile now click on this table and you have to search for paper tower holder now click on the item then delete it go back now click on this sync now go back to the lab and check the progress for last task 
Congratulations, you have successfully completed this lab. And if the video was helpful, please consider subscribing. For the next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Thank <laughs> you.